What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering End. Every day I ask my viewers what's on their mind, what's, uh, what is the important news to them that day. Sometimes it's something I'm extremely familiar with, and sometimes it's not. Um, but this topic was so overwhelmingly uh, on the minds of my viewers and my video editor um, that I, 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 I had to cover it. Um, and I hope that I will do it justice. Now, manga is uh, just exploding exponentially in popularity here in the West. And maybe, uh, you know, certainly one of the best tales ever told uh, has been Berserk, uh, a manga that has been around for 30 plus years, I think, um, and headed up by Kentaro Mira. Kentaro Mira, sorry, uh, who. Uh, passed away tragically today at just the age of 54. Uh, this is um, a legend in manga, a, a man that has dedicated his entire life to um, entertaining others, uh, to telling this tale, a tale uh, that started, I believe, when he was, uh, he, I think he published his first manga or put out his first book at just age 10, dropped out of college to draw. Um, Berserk, having been around so very long, almost 30 years or over 30 years now, has touched the lives of so many people. Uh, I've heard it described as uh, one of the best stories ever told. Some say the best story ever told. I'm, I'm, you know, I understand everyone has their own uh, opinions, but uh, I admit, you know, sometimes when I cover things, it's something I know very deeply. Manga is something that is new to me. Uh, it's something that I've started to grow interest in because Western comics have been so terrible. Um, and because it's so important to so many of my viewers, uh, it's something that I've started to learn more about. Now, uh, I don't own any of the Berserk graphic novels. I, I, I wanted to uh, buy some. Uh, it's sold out everywhere. Well, I'm good, you know. Um, so I thought as tribute, I would at least uh, order the first three volumes, which I did do via eBay, uh, paying double this price for them. Uh, but uh, I'll put them on my set and um, read them as well. I thought uh, that would be a good way to pay tribute and be respectful of Kentaro Mira's work and the fandom that is grieving today. Um, you know... This via bounding into comics, the heartbreaking news was first broken May 19th by the editorial department of Young Animal, the manga magazine where Berserk is published, who posted a statement on the official Berserk Twitter account announcing that Mira had passed away on May 6th. So they had actually held on to this for several weeks um, due to acute aortic dissection. That's a heart problem. Uh, we would like to express our utmost respect and gratitude to Dr. Mira's painting work Pray for his soul, the statement concluded. One of the most detailed artists out there, uh, you know, and, and has allowed himself to change and grow for so long. The report of the passing of Professor Kentaro Mura, uh, the author of Berserk, passed away on May 6th due to aortic dissection. We would like to express our utmost respect and gratitude to Dr. Mura's painting work and pray for his soul. This is, of course, the editorial department that wrote this. Mira's manga career began at the young age of 10, where the fledging artist created his first series for his grade school classmates. At age 18, he would find himself working uh, as an assistant, uh, and through though he was quickly dismissed um, after the creator informed Mira that there was nothing he could teach him that the young creator didn't already know. Roughly five years later, Berserk would begin serialization in October 1989 edition uh, and of, of the Young Animal magazine, and then uh, named Monthly Animal House, where it would remain throughout the entirety of its currently 363-chapter long run. With Mira's untimely death, Berserk remains unfinished, its last chapter having ended on the sudden reappearance of the Moonlight Boy following his previous disappearance into the night sky. The series has also received a number of video game, anime, and film adaptations, most notably the 1997 Berserk anime series, which to this day remains a favorite among both fans of manga and anime fans in general. 
Here's Tamira, one of the most objectively talented uh, mang mangakas of all time. Words cannot truly express how painful the passing has been and will continue to be for so many manga and anime fans across the world. Uh, I think that having seen Berserk on the on the bookshelves of um, Barnes and Noble uh, of comic book shops and never picking, having picked it up, I do feel like I missed out on something, something truly epic. Uh, and I do uh, feel for all my viewers and fans of the graphic novel who will never see this story truly completed. Now, maybe there can be somebody to take up the mantle. Uh, I think that's a not a, a respectful conversation to have right now, uh, but I do want I do want to recognize that a story, especially as epic as this, can mean a lot, and I know it probably meant a lot to a lot of my viewers, and so my heart goes out to you and to those who aren't my viewers and who may be just you know watching this video. Uh, my heart goes out to you. I know how influential art can be on people. Uh, for me, it's always been music. Um, but I know for many of my viewers, it's been comic books and manga and anime. And it's something that I try to treat with uh, the utmost respect. Um, Kintaro Mira is a legend. Uh, and Berserk is a legendary series that I think going forward, looking at it coming this late, I genuinely look forward to that book getting here. I'll probably have to wait until a resupply uh, to get copies or see if my library has some, but I would like to own the collection and, and pay homage uh, on that shelf back there. Certainly there's plenty of room for such a legendary creator. Uh, I hope that um, the many demonstrations warm your heart. I saw there was one in Final Fantasy. I'm sure there'll be one in World of Warcraft. The many fans out there, and I'm sure hopefully the comment section uh, down below will be full of positive, uh, thoughtful words. Not exactly my happiest video to make, but we'll talk to you again real soon.